Now we're going to move on here to a study from the University of Dammam in Saudi Arabia in 2016. In this study, researchers experimented with two different doses of red laser light added to an exercise training program in older osteoarthritic patients. So patients were assessed for joint pain, joint stiffness, physical function, isometric muscle strength, range of motion of the knee, and quality of life. So the protocol consisted of two sessions of exercise plus red light per week for eight weeks for a total of 16 sessions of red light combined with exercise. Group one received a six joule per centimeter squared dose. Group two received a three joule per centimeter squared dose and group three received a placebo before doing their exercise training. The findings, all three groups experienced significant reductions in pain intensity, increased muscular strength and range of motion of the knee, as well as increased physical functionability. So what that's saying is that exercise is effective for all these things. Now the question is, is red light therapy in addition to exercise the most effective? And if it is, which dose was more effective? Turns out it was more effective with red light and the greatest improvements were found in group one who received a red light dose of six joules per centimeter squared. Now we're going to look at the exact dose that you would need to apply a six joule dose to your knee or any other joint to get that same benefit or a similar one to the people in that study. In the previous study, pain intensity was decreased and muscular strength, range of motion and physical function were significantly elevated after a dose of six joules per centimeter squared. How long do you need to treat your knee with this light here to achieve that six joule dose? Well, using a solar powered meter, I've determined that from a distance of five centimeters, five centimeters away, the power density administered by this device is 200 milliwatts per centimeter squared. At that power density or that distance, it would take five seconds to administer one joule per centimeter squared dose. So multiply that by six and what you have is just 30 seconds held five centimeters away will administer a six joule dose. Apply the light to your joints from a distance of five centimeters for 30 seconds for a six joule dose. Follow that red light therapy protocol two times per week for eight weeks before exercise and you should achieve similar results to the people in the study. If you want to get a red light therapy device, head over to our store. We've got the handheld that you saw in this video the body light mini and the full body light at endalldisease.com slash store. And if you want to learn more about red light therapy, check out my number one best-selling book, Red Light Therapy Miracle Medicine. I've also written two other best-selling books on cancer, one called The Cancer Industry and the other called Cancer, The Metabolic Disease Unraveled. To take a look at these books, check out endalldisease.com slash books. Hey, it's Mark. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And definitely hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos when they come out. Also, be sure to pick up my three free ebooks one on chemotherapy, the other on sodium bicarbonate for cancer and other diseases, and a red light therapy dose guide by clicking the link in the description below. Last but not least, check out one more video on my channel right here, and I will see you in the next one.